We've got our hands on Fender's brand new recreation of George Harrison's iconic Rocky Stratocaster. Let's sit down now and have a look at exactly how close it matches up to the original. <laughs> So what is Rocky and why is this particular guitar so iconic? Well, the story goes that in the early 60s, George Harrison was fairly desperate to acquire a Stratocaster. Um, so in 1965, he sent Beatles roadie Mal Evans out to acquire two of them, one for him and one for John. And Mal returned with two 1961 Fender Stratocasters in Sonic Blue. And that original Sonic Blue finish can be seen around the edges of the guitar still. And in that format, George very quickly fell in love with the Strat. And the first time he used it on record was when the Beatles were recording the single Ticket to Ride in 1965. Now, it stayed that way for a couple of years and was used. Uh, however, rumoured to be at or around the launch party of Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, George decided that it needed a bit of a psychedelic revamp. So he got his hands on some Dayglow paint and some of his wife's nail polish and set about painting it into the distinctive style that we see today. And this was actually done in two stages. So the initial paint was done in 1967. Then two years later in 1969, he added a few choice decals such as the Bebop Alula and somewhat ironically, the picture of Eric Clapton on the headstock. So now Fender have come along and recreated this iconic guitar in quite a staggering fashion. So it, the paint is actually textured, layered, which gives a, a really authentic feel um, and a direct nod to the hand-painted nature of the original. Uh, and then even down small touches like the Grimwoods decal on the rear of the headstock, which was the original music shop that George bought it from. And it's quite clear that a very intricate level of detail has been paid getting this guitar to represent the original as closely as it possibly can. <laughs> So despite being fairly heavily modified aesthetically, uh, a lot of the components on Rocky didn't really alter that much over the years. And I'm sure that'll be very pleasing to the Fender purists. As underneath the paint, this is a 1961 Strat. This is a pre-CBS Stratocaster, which is one of the holy grails of guitars. Uh, and Fender have, have recreated this side of it as much as they have the kind of paintwork and the aesthetic side. So. Starting with the neck, you've got the 60s neck profile with the 7.25 inch radius and the 21 frets instead of 22 on the rosewood fingerboard. Uh, and these necks instantly feel really familiar to me. They're very comfortable and sleek to play and there's no adjustment period at all with them. And then going down to the pickups, which even just aesthetically with the slight paint runs that have been matched to minute detail on the originals, these are your vintage 60s single coils. So these are very warm and articulate and capture the, the quack and chiminess of 60s strats. And this, this allows you to, to very quickly and easily coax out the strat tones that George did on songs like Octopus's Garden and In My Life. So it's really nice actually that Fender have paid as much attention to capturing the tonal properties of this guitar as they have the aesthetic. <laughs> So obviously, thanks to the unique nature of the design, if you're wanting to, to capture this on a guitar, painting it yourself isn't really possible. And unless you've got the mega bucks to spend on one of the custom shop runs from a few years ago, this current Fender reproduction is about as close as you are gonna get to capturing George's signature psychedelic look and tone in guitar format. If you've enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. I've been Tom for Gear for Music. 
Thank you ever so much for watching.